Hello everyone, this is Dr. Singaram. Uh, so today we have with us Dr. Ripudaman Singh, who has secured uh, AML 1 rank in this recently conducted IMACT SS exam. Um, so welcome to the show, Doctor, and many congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. To give you an introduction about the topper we are having today, he, is, um, he has done his undergraduation from General Medical College, uh, Government Medical College, Chandigarh, and he did his MD from PGIM, uh, Chandigarh also. And now he has secured um, AML 1 rank in this INICTSS, and he is today with us to share um, his insights about the exam and to give um, uh, some to give some tips about his preparation uh, for the upcoming exams also. So, um, hearty congratulations, doctor, and we'll get started with today's session. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Can you can you start by sharing with us um, when did you start your preparations for this uh, super specialty exam? Was it during your residency time or after the residency? Can you tell us about that? Yes, sir. So at least I completed my uh, MD in uh, July 2024, and uh, okay. after that, uh, after finishing my MD, sir, I have started preparing for this uh, DM examination and for INISS. And then, okay. uh, uh, and in last uh, three months only, sir, I prepared for the exams uh, from August onwards, and uh, August uh, and September and October, and uh, then, sir. Uh, <clears throat> And I have not, uh, I prepared uh, uh, using, uh, mainly using uh, Nelson as my textbook, as my reference book, and uh, and Maru videos also for my uh, general pediatrics part and also. Okay, okay, right. So, so, so talking about the Maru videos, is there any part of uh, the videos you had uh, extensively used or you had gone through all the videos? Do you want to mention anything specifically about it? No, sir. Actually, I, I have seen uh, that uh, general pediatrics part from the uh, Mero, all the videos, okay. and uh, I've sold I've sold question bank also for that uh, for practicing the general pediatrics part, and uh, I, then I've used Mero as my source for giving grand test also uh, in immunology and dermatology, sir. Okay, so mainly it was uh, about the general pediatrics part and your concern specialty from the Mero videos, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, right. Okay. So, um, so while using the videos for your preparations, um, can you tell us roughly how much time you devoted for the videos and from reading from the other sources? Can you just tell us a little bit about it? Yes, sir. So, I uh, used to study at um, 8 to 10 hours per day, sir. So, I okay. have divided my uh, uh, specialty part and the general pediatrics part uh, into uh, 7 is to 3 ratio. So for around 7 to 8 hours I used to study for my specialty part and 2 to 3 hours I used to give to my general pediatrics part sir. And in that only I will see my uh, general pediatrics part videos and uh, solve questions along with them only sir and make notes with them sir. Okay. So more of yes. the time was devoted to your uh, specialty concern right? Yeah. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. okay. And while preparing from the videos or from the uh, from your books and all did you prepare any notes or were you using the notes which are already available in the app and try to build up on that? No, sir. I uh, prepared my own notes sir, and okay. uh, I have used uh, prepared them from the videos and the textbooks which I am using, sir. And as well as from the question banks, I have added few things in them, sir. Okay. So you added upon to the existing notes. Uh, uh, sorry, you prepared your notes fully on your own, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Right. So, um, so uh, you said that you were giving um, test as well as mock test in between. So, can you take us through that um, strategy of giving the uh, exams along with your preparations and what was your um, approach to that? Yes, sir. actually, uh, so basically it was divided into two parts, immunology and rheumatology. So, okay. uh, when I have read all the parts of immunology and rheumatology after that i have given my first uh, grant test sir, when i was uh, through uh, reading the first time so it's very important to know sir uh, after reading uh, so much and after reading uh, so much in depth about a specialty that how much you know and uh, what things you don't know and what things you have to grab upon uh, much, uh, more uh, in that sir, 
in that branch and it's very important to give a uh, grant test uh, from beginning only so that uh, you can have this time management along with that you should know how the uh, questions they are asking in recent uh, INISS exam pattern and also that will help okay. if you start from the beginning only and uh, okay. it will be better and it uh, uh, helps us in uh, improving also further sir for okay. and uh, especially the marrow grant tests uh, they have uh, covered all the topics uh, which have been okay. given in Nelson, new Nelson also sir that will be published okay. uh, in 2024 only. 20 and uh, that yes sir, and that pattern as well is very much similar to the recent INISS pattern also, and uh, like they have asked uh, questions mainly from the Nelson based questions, and they have asked in depth also sir about uh, that okay. and about uh, the topics in the grant test. Sir. Okay, right. So you you say that giving test should go along with your preparation and not at any particular time. From the beginning, you need to give the test just to get to you, yourself uh, familiar with the pattern as well as the time management also, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, right. So uh, so if a if somebody is going to prepare now for the upcoming sessions, what would be your uh, advice to them uh, regarding? Uh, not just any specialty, but um, general pediatrics as well as specialty. So, how would you ideally tell them to start their preparations with? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, uh, sir. Uh, first of all, this general pediatrics part will carry uh, around uh, thirty Perfect. questions, and it will be covering all the top uh, systems from all the other parts of the pediatrics, uh, uh, except your specialty you, which you have chosen. Uh, so okay. uh, you should try to cover as much as possible and you should uh, uh, also see the previous questions uh, which uh, have come in the recent examination and all and you try to cover around that topics uh, so that okay. if next time they ask from that topic you should know about that and uh, now and they will ask uh, they can ask question from any uh, uh, part of the pediatrics sir. so you should cover general pediatrics uh, as well as you are doing for your specialty sir uh, okay when you are preparing and uh, also for the uh, specialty part sir uh, you should focus on your uh, standard book for that and uh, as we all uh, know that nelson uh, is our standard book so we should focus yes. more on nelson and we should revise as much as possible uh, the specialty yes. you are going into uh, from that uh, part of the book sir okay okay fine now talking about the uh, mock test and the grant test, how often used to you used to give the uh, grant test while your preparation time? Uh, any frequency you followed, or uh, was it along with the subject? Can you tell us about that? Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, sir, I used to give uh, my grant test every ten to fifteen days, as I am having only forty-five days to fifty days for to prepare for my examination, sir. So okay. I used to give at that uh, frequency and uh, I have started from beginning only for uh, my giving first grand test. So okay. and I now every 10 to 15 days I used to give the grand test. Sir. Okay. So once in every two weeks around you used to give the grand test. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Um, so did the performance in your grand test had an impact on the final uh, exam or was it correlating with your marks? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, sir. I have uh, this uh, grant test uh, which I have given, sir, especially the uh, part which have been covered for immunology and rheumatology. It helped me a lot to solve the questions in the final examination also because the pattern was similar and also uh, they have uh, covered uh, the subject in detail and uh, the way they are asking uh, questions in the exam also. And it helped me a lot. Uh, and gaining that confidence before going for the final examination and uh, also for the time management and uh, about the topics and about the uh, options, how to choose them. And uh, right. yes, sir, definitely GT has helped okay. me a lot in that, sir. Okay, okay, right. So so let's, um, let's um, discuss about your specialty part and uh, in which place are you planning to join uh, for your clinical immunology and rheumatology course? Yes, uh, yes, sir. So yeah, I'm planning to join in uh, PJ Chandigarh only, sir. Back, sir. Okay, and, it's a straight uh, choice. Uh, yes, sir. Right. And yeah. uh, okay. Uh, so I'm uh, joining in clinical immunology yes. rheumatology in PJ Chandigarh only, sir. And okay. uh, this, uh, um, 
<clears throat> actually and uh, i chosen this specialty uh, because uh, it carries the part of general pediatrics and it carries the part of correlation with other specialties also and sir uh, especially it uh, is like a puzzle solving in the part of the pediatrics and uh, rheumatology and immunology sir and yes, uh, also it's a very may just come with a fever but we need to yes, think sir. so many possibilities right yeah. yes sir yeah. yes sir Okay. So, is there any any other motivation you derived during your uh, courses in MD that made you think uh, pursue um, a career in rheumatology and immunology? Yeah, uh, definitely, sir. It's a developing branch in uh, pediatrics and uh, this uh, clinical immunology and rheumatology part, and uh, it will it uh, it carries a lot of uh, newer developments and uh, newer things in that. And during my course in MD Pediatrics, um, my uh, rotations and my posting uh, in this uh, ward, I have learned so much and I have come through uh, many uh, interesting cases sir, during my postings. And my professors also motivated, motivated me in getting this branch. And uh, okay. <laughs> nice Very nice. Very nice to hear that. Okay. So, uh, so for the, um, for our aspirants, if they want to join a super specialty after pediatrics, uh, would you suggest um, any advice to how to choose your uh, specialty after pediatrics? Just like a general advice, not only to rheumatology or just like a general advice for our aspirants in future. Yes, sir. So uh, I think that they should go for the subject in which they were really developing the interest to go for a head with that subject because uh, they have to carry this uh, lifetime along with them. And uh, I think they should use uh, choose this wisely and uh, they should choose the subject based upon their own personal opinion and based upon their own personal interest in that uh, particular specialty and subject, sir. Yes. Okay. So during your um, MD time is the best time to decide on your specialty. And once uh, you decide, you have to focus for your future, right? Yeah. It's all based on your experiences during MD, right? Yes, okay. definitely, right. sir. Okay, right. So one more thing is about the exam per se, I wanted to ask a few things. What was your opinion on the pattern of question in this INICT SS? Was it similar to the usual pattern or any um, anything particular you are able to observe based on the question which were asked in the exam? So, sir, uh, looking at the uh, year question papers, uh, it will it is very much similar to DAM only, sir. And uh, they were asking, uh, uh, one liners along with they were asking uh, uh, clinical based questions also and a few uh, two to three image based questions sir and okay. uh, in uh, rheumatology and immunology part sir and uh, okay. but they carry a similar pattern uh, of INISS which they used to ask questions previously and uh, no much difference was there uh, in that sir in pattern okay so while uh, mentioning about your preparation you said Nelson is the main book as we all know as pediatricians nelson is the bible of pediatrics but in addition to nelson can we rely only that as the source or did you use any other uh, books to help in your preparation yes sir. mainly it uh, it is nelson only sir you should know each and every okay. line of immuno and rheumatology part but uh, there is uh, uh, one book you can read uh, for uh, enhancing your knowledge in uh, rheumatology it's there sir cassidy uh, uh, edition is uh, their book is there and uh, then you can use up to date for the recent updates about the recent okay. drugs that have been improved in various uh, other uh, uh, various uh, disorders and uh, other than that sir um, I have used mainly Nelson as my standard book and a little bit okay. from the Cassidy sir okay and so, so Nelson yes, as the main source right and yes, specialty sir. books depending on your interested specialty you can Go for a book. Right? Yes, sir. That is what you wanted. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So, uh, so as you approached your um, last few days before the exam, like a month or before, or even few weeks before the exam, did you rely on any last-minute preparation uh, sources, or you wanted to you wanted to tell our aspirants regarding what could be the potential strategy in the last few days? 
so uh, i think sir you should after completing all your videos in a first time after making notes you should revise them uh, as many time as possible and uh, you should uh, do uh, the question bank as uh, many times as possible and you should revise uh, question bank along with the topics that are you uh, that you are revising at that time so that uh, it will help you uh, in remembering more about that topic and uh, it will help you to uh, think uh, something uh, extra from at that time or at that uh, point of the examination sir and uh, also in last few days i think uh, you should focus only on uh, what you have uh, prepared already sir and uh, your notes and uh, from the question bank and try to give as many as grantus as much possible sir so as many as grantus means like you said generally you followed like once in every two weeks uh, anything like um, once in a week or twice in a week like that any anything you want to tell actually sir for my uh, specialty there were only three tests sir, and that, okay. that's why i have given only after around 10 to 15 days if it's more okay. then i will give more sir, for that uh, uh, specialty okay. and general okay. pediatrics part right 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 so so focus more on the um, notes towards the end and uh, take as much as test as possible right towards the end yes, that's sir. what you wanted yes sir yes okay. sir nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, right. So, um, thanks a lot, doctor, for sharing your um, valuable time as well as telling some advices for our future aspirants also. And uh, from the Maru team, we wish all the best for your future endeavors and uh, best wishes to achieve many more success in future. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, doctor, and best wishes. Okay. Thank you.